All right, just to show y'all real quick, my hair do not look like what it looked like when I left the house. It was raining a little bit. It's a little humid outside. So every curl I thought I had in here, go. Yeah. Why? Is it so? And I don't see you again. And I don't see you again. How you? Shit, I was fucked up. They ain't hear me back. No, you remember that? But that's besides the point. We finna get into some twists because tomorrow I have to go to work. Today I have went to. The beauty supply store. Stuff I had to pick up my prescription for my um. Percocet. You want one? Muscle relaxers. It's a little too much for me. I don't even know what this is, and I'm good for reading side effects. Another reason why I don't take medicine because the side effects be scaring the hell out of me. Shit be talking about some you can get ulcers and diarrhea and some more shit. I don't know, but. We finna get into this bag, as well as I'm finna tell y'all how to make some Mimi crack in her hair. What's that? That's my hair oil. Okay. It grows your hair. Okay. The hair growth oil that's been growing my hair like crazy. Oh, so you invented the Mimi crack? Mm-hmm. Ooh, working at And it worked. <laughs> it, it works. works. It grow yeah, my it edges. Works. One thing about the beauty supply store, you never just gonna go in and not come out with a whole bunch of other stuff. I always go to the beauty supply store and I come out with everything that I do not need. But I ha I was like, let me just go ahead and make this oil cause I know I'ma need it. Cause I only have one bottle left and me and my sister be sharing that one bottle. But like I said, I was thinking about selling it. Use my Nene crack to get her edges back, but she don't want to pay the Nene crack price. <laughs> I know I had to pay the Nene crack price. But it is what it is. I'm here to help y'all. Y'all my besties. It's easy to make this oil. You could literally Google it. Go buy the ingredients from your local beauty supply store. I think next time I do this, I'm going to get them online. Because hopefully online... I'll get more for a cheaper price opposed to getting it in the store. You really gonna keep up with the progress of my hair growth because I just recently bleached my hair. So that's gonna be like my little waist bead for my hair. You did. This is what she is looking like. Yeah, your girl got hair now. I used to be bald headed. When I say bald hair, I used to be bald headed. Um. It probably could have grew faster if I didn't always wear a head wrap. When I say I always had a head wrap on, I always had a head wrap on. It was ridiculous. I ain't let my scalp breathe no nothing because I really did not want to do my hair. But this is she. This is she, y'all. This is she. This is she. Mm-hmm. I'm just excited because I really never had this much hair before. Like, never. So first things first that I grab from these five store, of course, is another brick of black soap. Just extra. Like I said, I like to stay soft. But I picked up this This For Me Curl Pea Fining Curl Coil Cream. It holds and hydrates and it has flaxseed, shea butter, and grapeseed oil. And of course, a whole bunch of other ingredients. This is what I use to blow dry my hair and I'm so mad I didn't have any yesterday because my hair wouldn't feel as dry as it does now. Like right now, to me personally, it feels a little dry. Not super dry, but this is what I always, always use to blow dry my hair or even do my twist. I mix these two together along with some conditioner and oils and then I shake it up. I'm going to show y'all my concoction. See, I have old version. This was the old version of it, but I just used this to pretty much mix up my concoction. But this is this. When I would say shea butter on there, they're always adding something. New, oh, new improved formula. See that? Yeah. I got this milk, honey, nourishing me, leave-in condition. It got hot. I had to take off that little jacket. It's hot in this house. I also picked up these two oil bottles. 
This is what I'm going to be putting the oil in. I picked up some rosemary. Probably could have got it cheaper and way more if I would have just went to the little farmer's market up the street from my house. But I was already ready to go home. I'm one of them people after a while. I'm like, yeah, it's time to get out these streets and get to the house. All of the oils that I have is going to be 100% of that oil. I do not get the little tubes, the mixtures, none of that stuff. No. Always get the 100% pure oil where the ingredient only contains that oil. So, like I said, you could probably get it online cheaper, but I ended up just buying everything that I needed right then and there so that I could pretty much get the process over and done with. I have sweet almond oil olive oil black castor oil lavender sunflower seed oil hemp seed oil tea tree oil vitamin e oil peppermint oil black rice at first i used to buy this black rice hair growth oil and i was like i could slick make this myself and come out with way more way cheaper or whatever for how much they was charging for the oil. I believe it was like. And that's $15 a bottle of your honor. It was for a little, it was like a thing smaller than this. All these oils, all I did was go on Google and I looked up good hair oils for 4C hair growth. I was like, I can make this for way cheaper. And when I did that, baby, my hair started growing crazy. So I'm pretty much like, Locked in with the oil. I'm locked in. I go ahead and watch me. that for my oil mixture i'm giving y'all the sauce so thank me later once you make your little oil or whatever i suggest that you do whatever oil accommodates your hair type just google best oils that grow 4c hair 4b 4a 3 and so forth and so on that's how you're gonna know what you know your hair really likes and needs Hopefully, I did put all the benefits of each oil on the screen and why I use them. Nothing really has measurements. I basically just add according to what I feel like. I try to evenly spread them out across each bottle and then whatever I have left, whichever bottle disappears first is what I will just refill the rest of what I have in there. But what I can tell you, this rosemary is pretty, it looks like it's going to be the type to come out of this type of bottle. If you could find like another type of bottle that doesn't allow the, um, what's it called? The little rosemary flakes to come out. That'll be even more perfect. Or even if you could just find like a natural rosemary little leaf or whatever, y'all could put that in there too to avoid the little stems coming out. But I don't mind the stems coming out. I'm gonna just pick them out. It is what it is. I never had problems with the rice coming out of this type of bottle, but I know for sure that that rosemary, them little sticks is gonna come out but i really wanted to add that to my oil so i'm gonna clean this up and then we gonna get into twisting my hair so before i even get to playing some music i'm gonna show y'all me making this little contraption so as you can see i already got a little something in there but i'm gonna just add more product on top of that all i do is take my pink lotion
pour that in there. I told you I don't do measurements. I just pour it until it feel right. Then I take some of this curl and coil cream. And this, I do this because it just keeps me from dipping my hand into each one. We just gonna mix it all in one. So I'm gonna just take like a good gloop of that. Put that in there. Then I'm gonna put a good amount of this Nourishing Me Milk and Honey Leave-In Conditioner. Then I take some of this Leave-In Repair Cream by Cantu. A lot of people be down in Cantu, but like I said, I've been using this for a long time, like for years. And it ain't never done me wrong, like this much. So this is pretty much the mixture. And then I just take it and I shake that up real, real nice. All right. I'm gonna wipe that little product in my hair. So for my brushes, what I'm using today, brushes and combs, I have this, is the sleek, sleek like a little medium wide tooth comb. Little, not wide tooth, medium tooth comb. <laughs> With a little point at the end. And of course I have the regular type rat tail comb. Uh, what they call this, like a dimming brush. And then I have this little detangling brush. My bag of clips. And last thing that I'm gonna use too, along with my concoction, I seal in the moisture with this which is a um, whipped shea butter that I had made. Now we finna get into this hair. I'm finna play music or whatever, and then we just gonna ride. By the way, my parts, since I'm not really looking in no mirror or whatever, my parts is finna be straight BS. Um, it is what it is. <laughs> Okay, so I finally finished my hair. I'm gonna just put that all over my head. Oh, look, one came out right here. It's all good though. My hair gonna be like this for a cool two weeks and I'm probably gonna refresh the twist until I figure out what I actually want to do with my hair next as far as braids or a wig. This little twist style is gonna last me a little minute. I oil my scalp every two to three days and then I, to refresh my twist, I just use clove water, but I have to currently make some clove water. Basically, all you do is boil clothes on the stove, put it inside of a bottle, spray your hair down with it. Then I take some leave-in conditioner, apply it all over my twist, seal it in with some oil. That's pretty much it. And then I just let this pretty much ride for about two to three weeks. And then I just retwist my hair, whatever part I have, will do. And if I need to wash it, I'll just wash it with the twist then and then go ahead, the same twist. I'll just go ahead and retwist my hair like that. But that's pretty much it. And then my lips is crunched. So yeah, I'm gonna hit y'all back. Make sure you pick up that phone. Take the phone off, do not disturb, cause I might call you anytime, period. All right, bookies, 